Hello, hello, Crafty Mavens. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Um, I know it's Monday, but that's okay. We're gonna do a Stash It Monday today. Uh, so I have this little kit from my stash and I mixed together some unusual collections. So I have a sheet of paper from Dear Lizzie and I have it mixed with some old basic gray from Max and Whiskers and we're just gonna have some fun. So I decided to take from this mood board the mood of the mood board, which is a little bit of fall, a little bit of like, you know, rustic-y kind of um, shades of brown. And I chose this photo, which is actually from February, but that's okay. And uh, cause it had kind of those right colors in it from the uh, mood board. I didn't want my <clears throat> layout to get too dark. So I pulled in some um, pinks and some corals to go with my browns. Um, and so this is going to be really fun. So that paper I just cut in half is from Jen Hadfield. Um, it's, I think it's the first collection she did for Pebbles. Uh, it's the specialty paper that came with the collection and I've been hoarding it for way too long. So I went ahead and cut it in half. Um, I'm also taking some inspiration from a sketch by Heather, who is Heather's Crafty Life on uh, YouTube. And she just started making sketches and I wanted to play along with one of them and so I decided to go ahead and do that for this layout. And I will add a photo of the sketch to the end of this video. So this um, is not washi tape. It's uh, more opaque. It's from Jelly Bean Soup. Uh, I ha got it a long time ago. It came in a giant, giant, giant roll that I'll probably never ever finish. But it's super fun and I thought it would add a little bit of um, whimsy and just kind of fun to this layout. So now I'm taking a bunch of papers and I'm gonna layer them up behind my photo. This diagonal stripe is from the Wonder Collection. Uh, from Crepe Paper, the 6x6 pad, and then these two other uh, layers that I'm going to put down are both from Basic Gray's Max and Whiskers line. Um, and I do, where was it? There it is. There's that plaid. So I loved this plaid. Um, this is from the Max and Whiskers collection. And my goal here was to have this layout not be dark. There was a lot of dark shades. Of um, in the mood board and I don't like dark pages so my uh, reply to that is let's add some pops of white to the layout so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna layer up all these lovely papers and this these three layers are pretty much going to be um, all the colors that I'm gonna pull into the layout around the rest of the layout so I had pulled from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet from this basic gray collection. I had pulled the these stickers that you can see on the wax paper because uh, those I didn't want to get distracted by the pick, by the other stickers on the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. The other stickers wouldn't work and I didn't want I just wanted to pull the ones that I wanted to use. Um, obviously I'm looking for something probably my tape runner because I you guys I lose my tape runner so much it's not even funny. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it can be sitting right in front of me and I'm like, where's my tape runner? So um, part of the sketch are these banners up in the left hand corner and so I knew I wanted to go ahead and include those and I'm going to use the same three patterns that I used um, on my photo. I'm just going to use the off cuts and I'm going to cut three banner shapes and then I'm going to kind of layer them up with that light pink one in the middle just uh, so that it doesn't get too heavy or too dark up there in the corner. And I'm going to go ahead and stagger them as well, stagger the um, banner shapes. And then we'll go ahead and keep working through this layout. Um, I maybe could have cut this part out, I guess, but eh, it's alright. Um, so let me see if I can find my tape runner this time, right? <laughs> I hope you are all having a lovely Monday. I don't think I've had enough coffee yet, but we'll get there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and add these uh, banners to the top and then I want to add something on top of the banners and I have those cork bows. Um, those are from Dear Lizzie's documentary collection. I had a whole pack of them and I have ever so slowly been getting them and using them out of my stash. These are some super cute flowers. I'm pretty sure they came in a freckled fawn uh, blooper bag because really... The only place I get those flowers is from a blooper bag or from my dear friend Christina Sorge. 
So next up is I fussy cut all of these flowers in all these little spots. I thought they brought a pop of um, lightness. And even though it's February, this was a kind of a fun, um, warm week we had in February, which is highly, highly unusual. And so I wanted, I have pictures from this same time period of my son playing at the park. Yeah, so it was, it was pretty warm. And I just wanted to document this photo about my boys and um, I wanted to document this photo about my boys and I wanted to document uh, the relationship and how good they are with their dogs. We have three dogs in our house and they are wonderful with all three of them. At this time with this picture was taking me only two but um, so I'm adding these little hedgehogs because they're cute. That's it. That's it. That's my only reason for adding the hedgehogs. They were cute, and they went really well with the mood board. Um, I thought that they went really well with um, the flowers and just the whole feel of this page. And so I'm popping these up on Pop Dots. Um, I have, like, a really, I have really chunky Pop Dots. Let's use that. And then I have, like, medium ones. So these are the more medium ones because then I also have the thin uh, craft foam that I can sometimes use as well. So at first I thought, oh, I'm going to use up all of these cork bows, but I, I really feel like there's something that doesn't work more than once on a page. So <laughs> sad. I still have one left. We'll use it up, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I kind of put it down there at the bottom. I was kind of like forcing it, you know, like, oh, I really want to use it. Let's get it on here. But it, it, they're very heavy embellishments and I do really, really like them. Um, but I'm down to like just my last one now. <laughs> so I'm going to go through here and add these flowers from the Max and Whiskers collection and just pop them into the flowers from the um, paper from Documentary. And I love how that looks. I think that they play off really well. The yellows are really close and I think that that is what helps them to uh, coordinate is the fact that the yellows from the Max and Whiskers collection goes really well with the um, yellow in the uh, <clears throat> documentary paper. So I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. I'm going to go through my stash and I'm going to grab some enamel dots that uh, match my layout and that will complete this one. I hope you have a wonderful Monday and I will see you again soon. Bye!